is up guys and welcome back to the road to redemption you're looking at the second episode now number two if you've liked the first one if you followed you subscribed i appreciate it thank you very much um but look at this we we gotta look at the actual friendly um and start the season we want we, we started to save with just buying a few players checking the squad and then playing our very first game of the save now Bury it finished 2-1 um, 28,000 fans here not a surprise being in League 1 but some fans of other clubs might say otherwise but never mind Jordan Willis did get sent off um, and now we've got to play Fleetwood next week Bury we, we, we dominated them but like I said Beckford and uh, Hume was a massive massive and um, threat for it at the, at the minute it really was we're going to play numerous games this save so if you think it was just one game and that's it um not a chance we're going to play the full month that includes games against bradford city in the cup uh wimbledon at home shrewsbury away lincoln away and that will be the end of the second episode we'll go through anything that we need to cover injuries as such and um, but we won't be signing any more players at the time um bu -bu -bu -bu. never mind um before we crack on um if if you have watched the video um the first video and you've you've got any suggestions i'm more than open for content suggestions as we know content is king but what would you like to see in this save do you want to see where people go on in the Premier League see if it changes because I've got a new update with clubs up now Norwich and um, Sheffield United see who they're saying if you do want to see that if or if you want to see how your club's doing drop a comment down below and um, see what you want to see what you don't want to see I'm happy to do that but will you tell for Fleetwood they got be 2-0 off Doncaster um, away from home um, but nothing to shout home about but it is early in the season, so we're not going to get carried away. As you see, Jordan Willis is suspended, so we are going to see an introduction of Coco Martina. Um, Aidan McGeady didn't have the best of games last game, so we're going to swap it around. He's going to be an advanced playmaker today. He is dangerous. He can be dangerous, and that's what we want. So let's crack on with the game and see what can happen in this save. I mean, we're 12 minutes in, and... Nothing much happening. Fleetwood get the first attack. But here we go. Yep, Fleetwood first attack. Paddy Madden off the post and cleared. Sunderland living dangerously here at the moment. On Love ball into the lead bitter. Back out to Love. Cross going nowhere. Power keeps it in somehow. Someone's going to have a strike. Martina back out of Yedo Grig off the post all that build up and it hits off the post and it's counter John McLaughlin lets it go past him let's have a look at this closer because that is bad Hunter from outside the box it's a great shot don't get us wrong Maguire short of Yedo bang 1-1 one, one. of Yedo celebrating right in front of them here we go, a little bit closer, run in, slotted straight past the keeper. 1-1. One, one. Same again. McGeady, 2-1. An absolute classic set piece from Sunderland there. Sunderland, as you can see, sit top. Only two games in. And again, not to get carried away. Hunter, oh, block cross, but goes over for a throw in. Needy, having a decent game this game. Oviedo, ball in. Maguire, power. What a strike. Max, power. Second goal of the season. That is incredible. On the edge. Bang, straight past the goalkeeper. Keynes had no chance. Fleetwood, oh, giving it away by Fleetwood. Power, McGeady. 
McGeady spreads it. Love. Will Grigg. One goal this season for him. And it's just came against Fleetwood. And we are 4 1 up to the good Easton. Daniels having bad games, as you can see by the ratings there. I don't care. Couldn't care less. Here we go. Typical again. Set piece. Donald Love. Oh, they're going to get countered. Paddy Madden. Could have squared it. Ah, Jesus Christ. I know it's computer simulated, but that is ball greedy. Imagine doing that on FIFA. Wow. 4 1 down as well. 4 2 at 70 minutes. You've got a chance. Oviedo ball in. Baldwin just out. McLaughlin had a howler at the start, the start of the game, but has come good at the moment. And then I say that, and that happens. Yes. Decent goal over the defender. Calls for concern? Maybe? Nah. Similar corner, McGeady shot. Countered again. Paddy Madden. Saved by McLaughlin. Cracking save. Cleared by the looks of it. Yep. Another win under the belt for DC93, which is me. And as you can see, uh, looking at the table, quite a few teams up there. Sunderland sitting top, three goal difference. Charlie White made a debut, but didn't do much. Mind you, see how many turns up, actually. Um, but I'm of the mind that, I mean, you, you pick a rotated squad. So, I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna pick a rotated squad. I'm going to give a couple of players um, a run out. I'm going to change a few. I think Kim Poyka is going to come in. Greg on the bench. Kim Robson on the bench. Burge in. Zach Clough in. So we look at the start lineup. Quite a few changes in here now. Um, as you can see, Lee Burge changed Mickey Ock and Iskred. Clough and Kim Poyka in for their team. We'll see how it, it, it fares up for Sunderland. I mean, the Cup's not a major priority. The priority is road to redemption, not road to silverware. But it's an Oviedo goal, an absolute belter, 25 yards out. Look at this. Bang, curl. Absolute curl underneath O'Donnell. And it's 1 0. As I'm saying that, though, it could, it could very well turn to 1 1. You never know with this game. Can point there. Or oh, Verlinden to cut <laughs> O'Donnell keeping them out there. Similar set piece again. Defended well though. But Bradford, as you can see by the stats, not even a shot as of yet. Defending quite well. On a trick again. Oh, oh that could have been that was a great title that. Could, I thought it could have been a pen either way. And instead Ryan Kent of Liverpool, it is Liverpool. It's Ryan Kent. He scored. And it's 1 1. Twelve thousand turned up for the match of the day. Oh, over the bar. Yes. Time to make a sub soon. Zach Clough robs him of the ball. All he's gotta do, back post for Linden. Yep. Belinden with the goal it was all Sunderland uh, full aim advanced through to the second round of the cup nothing major to shout about Wimbledon game now we're going to put obviously the team back together again looking at the team uh, Max Power coming back in Belinden will sit on the bench this time for just an injury and Willis will be coming back in or Baldwin, who's picked up a knock. Charlie Wake returns to the bench. Kim Poyka drops out of the team. Section of Verlinden, who is out with an injury, so we'll pop him on the bench as precaution. And could have been easily 1 0 down at Wimbledon there at home. Not much to shout about for the first half, really. 
Zach Clough with a shot at Trot there. Keeps it out. But corner specialists gonna give it another go. Gives the ball away. Nothing to shout home about. Led bit of Clough. Over. Clough to McGeady. Power back in. Power to Ledbetter. I like Ledbetter. He's quite the player. And Will Grigg. 1 0. Second goal of the season. Played out from Ledbetter to Love on the overlap. Bang header. Past Trot. Had no chance. That's everything you want in a team. 21 shots. 63 possession. Love. Ball over the top to Grigg. McGeady, 2-0. Get in, McGeady. This road to redemption. Going all right so far, to be fair. I, I didn't know what way to take it. I, I want to be ample enough for content, you know what I mean? I want to I want to play to win. And I want to provide good content. And if I'm losing every game, it ain't good content. Not at all. 28,000 up... What, 16,000 since last time? What a strike from Ledbetter. But it's disallowed for offside. Must have hit someone on the way in. That's all I can say. No subs needed today, really. Comfortable win at best. Ref blows full aim, third win of the season and that's the way I like it before you know it these games come thick and fast I mean we just beat Wimbledon there um, 2 nil, and already we've got Shrewsbury now this is a test a first test as you can see Shrewsbury sitting fifth in the table against Sunderland who are first Sunderland cannot afford to lose ground on them boys we're coming into the, coming into the match for Shrewsbury um, one, two changes, John McLaughlin in and Duncan Watmore. Duncan Watmore plagued with injuries in real life. Please, please don't be plagued in FM with them. Quite a player to have if, you, if you've got him on your bench. Starting off the highlights, the Sunderland attack as usual. That's good. McGeady out of love. Oh, Greg over. Will Greg was 8-1 on... on Sky bet on here to become a top goal scorer for League One. You, you'd think it would happen to be honest. He's been scoring. Maguire, bottom corner. The King, Chris Maguire. 1 0. They look quick, closer look, and it drops his shoe up. Bang, bottom corner. Robin Sunderland corner again. Oviedo. <laughs> Oviedo. He didn't mean that. That is incredible. Watch this again. Straight Oviedo. Looks for a cross. It hits. It looks like it hits Greg, but it doesn't. And it goes in for a Brian Oviedo goal. Keep it up like this, and Oviedo will be top goal scorer. Four more Beckles. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you, didn't he? 2 1. Corner trick again. Oh. It's in, and it's Duncan Watmore, and it's offside. You can tell it was. Yeah, it's just offside. Fair enough. Ref's got it right. 2-1 still. Still all to play for. Watmore, power. What a strike. Max, power. Sunderland again. Yeah, Jordan Willis. Clears it upfield. Ledbetter. Out of Donald Love again. Donald Love back in. Will Grigg. Third goal of the season, Donald Love, the architect again, which nickname of the ar architect, you know that, he is the architect of Sunderland, everything goes through him really, him and Ledbetter. Looking at the table, Oxford keeping keeping pace, you know what I mean, um, on 12 points as well, haven't lost yet, so that'll be a, a, a game to play when it, when it comes, to, comes down to it. Look at that. Just as we go at the end of the game, Duncan Watmore carrying an injury. We're going to see a Shrewsbury attack. Doesn't really mean much now. 
And it's 4-2, Steve Morrison. Another win. 4-2 at the end of a game. That could have went either way, to be fair. You know what I mean? They're fifth and first. Start of the season, you never really take your form as a given. You know what I mean? It's not like it's December and the form's crucial. But form's excellent. We're coming up against a newly promoted Lincoln City who have got Casey Palmer on loan from Chelsea. Wow. Shows a bit of ambition. Um, no one change, and that's Valinden coming in. Um, and that's what we need. It rain in its insult bank. McGeady 1 0. Great start. Not even a minute in. And the 1 0 down. Edge of the box. So. Decent strike, but still remains 1-0. Oviedo back McLaughlin. McGeady on the run. McGeady only had one eye for shot there, didn't he? You could tell. Um, now to shout home about, really, for Sunderland. Uh, Sinsel Bank. New stadium for Sunderland, anyway, that's for sure. I've never been. Can't remember if Sunderland have ever been, to be fair. Quite an interesting save. Grig through. Oh, come on, Will Grig. Second chance of asking. He could have scored that. That is for sure. Now we're going to make some subs here. Um, McGeady still struggling. Honeyman coming on. After that miss, we're going to bring on Mike. It's even Grig's on a yellow card anyway. Oxford not keeping up the pace at the minute, as you can see, draw them. But there's still 30 minutes left in this game. The architect with a the tackle there, Donald Love. Ball through to Charlie Wake. Uh, Charlie Wake. Woof. Bad opportunity after opportunity, I'm assuming there'll be some to FM like and will concede. No doubt, but hey, uh, give it a go. Yep, now we shall roam about, and that is the end of that match. We win 1 0, and we make it four, five wins, sorry, five wins out of five. 15 points on the board, match day, and as we can see, Ian McGeady has picked up a knock, so George Honeyman will be in the team. Kim Poyka will come on the bench. Other than that, we're going to play West Ham. I'm not changing formation, I'm going for the win. But look at that team. Tony Lanzini, Philippe Anderson and Luke De Jong. Be interesting, but we'll see how it goes. Felipe Anderson with the first strike, but I, I'm really pumped up for this match. I, I, I don't know about you, but I mean, you play a Premier League team, you want to show if the road to redemption is f for you. You've got to you've got to get up there. You've got to play them teams. You've got to get to that division. So far, it's all West Ham. Ball over Fredericks. Luke De Jong wide. Five minutes in now, no real signs of West Ham getting a goal as I say that. Spilled and Pablo Fornals, Fornals gets the goal. Spilled by John McLaughlin, didn't have any chance to get back to his feet. Really squandered that. Can it be an instant reply? Lyndon Maguire, yes it can, 1-1, one, one. get in. That could be vital just before half time. Ten minutes to go. Luke De Jong through ball to Felipe Anderson. Willis not cleared. Wilshire back of the post. McLaughlin having a howler at the minute. God, have I got to post off putting Lee Burge in goal? To be fair, because McLaughlin it does have his fair spills. 
half time I'm happy with that 1-1 one, one against West Ham at their ground 25,000 here 2,000 fans have made the trip that is real life what Sunderland are like we sell out allocation everywhere we go doesn't matter where we go Seventy minutes in now, and I mean, here we we'll go on the attack. Maguire, Oviedo, Willis, uh, Honeyman, Greg, Maguire at two one, get in two one against West Ham at their ground. What an over the top ball! Honeyman sees it through Greg, and Roberto had no chance of getting that. What a strike, Chris Maguire double. Greg, Honeyman, Ledbetter, oh that should have been 3-1 tie over, or oh, am I going to regret that? Oh, Maguire. This time putting on the pressure here. Noble, Canals who scored the goal, they're getting close, Kuka Martina cleared. Honeyman, Greg, Ledbetter, Ledbetter again, 3-1, get in, that's tie over, we're going through the third round, and we beat a Premier League opposition. Over the road to redemption is still strong for Sunderland, and that was a massive, massive result, 3-1 against a team two divisions higher than us but where we rightfully should be now we're going to hang around we're going to watch the draw come in for the third round and that would be the end of the episode so let's get straight into the draw here we go third round the draw teams like man city liverpool northampton and crew alexander are still in the draw let's and we tie portsmouth at home in the third round of the cup just any notable ties there as we go through um not that i can see um city got crew cardiff chelsea um nothing or oh, liverpool man united yeah fair dues so one big team's going out once again third round beat west ham 3-1 giant killers this was the second episode on the road to redemption if you liked it Please put a thumbs up, subscribe and watch a previous episode. Until then, thank you very much.